Hello everyone, I'm just going to quickly show you how to uh, open up a kef egg and prepare it for uh, painting. Uh, this video really follows on from what I did um, with the YouTube video called uh, Kef Egg Sticky Situation by Club Snapper UK. So as you can see, um, in preparing the... Uh, or taking the sticky rubber coating off the egg, which worked really well at the back. Uh, so you can see it's quite a nice shine there, and there's no, no stick at all. Um, what you can find happens is that the uh, cellulose thinner takes uh, a coat of paint off uh, the front, and also on the base, which I don't have one with me here, but it's the same effect. So you can see here, the undercoat of the, the front plate uh, is bare metal, but on the back this is black. So what I'm going to do is just take this apart and I'll prepare it uh, for uh, just a simple uh, coating. And um, I got this um, uh, appliance enamel gloss paint from B and Q. It's about seven pounds, um, and that's what I'll be using. I've already done the basis, so I know it works quite well. So what you're going to need is uh, some uh, nitromores paint remover to do the most of the work cellulose thinner just to polish and clean it up you need a brush and uh, plenty of cloths uh, Phillips flat head scalpel and the island key that came with um, the kef egg itself so uh, the first thing to do is actually take off the uh, kef logo here uh, which is fairly easy to do just pry underneath. And that's how you got it. Put it to one side. And see that for later. And we'll glue that on. Um, and flip it over. You'll see there's the last airline key that. Um, In there, just unscrew that. A little bit difficult to do this with one hand. There we go. that into the handy bucket of things and that's the last time we need the allen key so you think it would just pop out now uh, but it doesn't there's actually slight line of glue all the way along and back the easiest way is actually to put it so that the uh, little trumpet part is at the bottom and from the top um, just put your nails underneath there and just slowly pry it open and depending on how much luck you have that should come off quite nicely so you can see just there we go and what's holding on is a little bit of glue uh, on that top uh, I guess a capacitor of some type and then underneath here sometimes the um, tape that's holding then the little trumpet gets caught up on uh, the screw head, so you might need to go in there with a scalpel and pull it out. But in this case, uh, it's worked out quite nicely for me. I'm just going to put my little Kef logo in a little bag that I have so it doesn't get lost. So I got my three Kef logos in there. You can put your own one back in if you want. Pull the whole thing out. And you end up with the case, and then the actual uh, calf eggs themselves. Now, there's four screws to undo here, uh, which I'll do uh, in a while. But the next thing you want to do is take off this cable tie, really thick one, hard to do uh, with one hand. So I'll take that cable tie off, take off this tape. And then there are four screws to remove, and then you can take out the inside 
uh, speaker system and put it back into the casing and then you're ready to go. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a second part of the video and uh, carry on for the preparation for the removal of the paint with nitromores.